Hello everyone, I'm Robert, and this is our first home, home improvement on a budget. And today, um, I wanna do something a little different. We're gonna be doing an unboxing today, uh, mainly because in the main channel, when we actually use what I'm gonna be unboxing, uh, I don't wanna go into a ton of detail about what's in the box, so we're just gonna do that separately. Um, so, today we're gonna be unboxing the Rust-Oleum um, Counter Transformations kit, which is basically a kit that allows you to refinish your countertops. So here's the box that it came in. I ordered this from the Home Depot online and the box is deceptively large compared to what it looked like on the internet. Holy moly, this is an iPhone 6S to kind of put it in comparison how big this box is. So, when I open up the box here, we can see that there's a box inside, and right on here, it gives you the basic instructions uh, for how this is going to work. I prep the countertop with the sanding tool. You're going to apply the adhesive base coat, which to the best of my knowledge is an epoxy based situation. You're going to apply these decorative color chips. And then once all that dries, you're gonna sand it down again, and then you're gonna put a clear coat on top of it. I have the feeling that that is also either another layer of an epoxy type product, or maybe a polyurethane or something like that. But the main reason I like this one over a lot of the other ones is because there's two coats of some hard resurfacing material. So I'm pretty sure that this is actually epoxy color chips and then more epoxy and i'm still kind of my mind is blown about how big this is for some reason i thought it was a, a small box hmm. anyway all right so this kit is the one that covers uh 50 square feet or 20 linear feet um i got this one because i'm going to try to do our kitchen countertops and then a bar countertop that is in the downstairs and quite frankly, I didn't measure any of the counters, so I didn't want to get the smaller one and not have enough, so I just got the bigger one. It's also worth noting that you're going to need some other things with this. You can read. Um, and then they give you the list of what is included right there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to try to be careful opening this because I am going to have to put this back in the box to get it over to the house is that they have an instructional DVD. I have the feeling that this DVD is probably the video that's online that I watched. Uh, you'll love the results. So, right in the top, this is our little spreader for the uh, decorative chip thingies. Pull this little separator out. It's very nice packaging. Everything is labeled in there. Cool. Stir sticks. Where are my stir sticks? In here. The wedding agent. Um, since I'm pretty sure this is a epoxy based situation, uh, this will basically give you more time to work with it. Um, you spray this over the top. Paint scraper or a decorative chip scraper. Adhesive base coat. Protective top coat. This is part B. So this is why I'm thinking epoxy because it's a two part. Diamond embedded sanding tool. Man, that's hard. Oh yeah, that's gonna work really well. And then a regular sanding block. Okay. And then this is the part A of the top coat. So definitely epoxy, which is, I'm, I'm so happy to see that. Uh, Wedding agent. Okay, so this is actually a spray bottle. So this is the sprayer for that. Cool. And there 
are my stir sticks. Excellent. And then in here, I'm assuming that this is the last. Oh, I need two hands for this. This box is full of decorative color chips. Oh boy, check that out. This come in bags here. And then that pattern is basically what our countertop is gonna look like. Very nice. So there are several bags of that in here. I have the sneaking suspicion that the primary difference between this kit and the smaller one is probably just the number of these bags that you get of the decorative chips. Um, mainly because with this, a paint can doesn't get much smaller than this. So, hmm. So there's not really like a manual per se. You do get the DVD, but on the back, on the box itself, they give you a lot of information about actually installing the kit. Here they talk about calculating your uh, linear footage. Um, so they talk about that. They're basically saying that a standard countertop is 24 inches wide. So just measure how long each thing is and then you'll get your linear footage. This is designed to really cover a lot of countertops. So I'm definitely going to have enough for what we're going to do, but I suggest that when you're doing it, you definitely measure what you're trying to cover first. Uh, I really just kind of took a shot in the dark because I got a pretty good deal on this. I think that normally this kit is somewhere in the neighborhood of $200. I didn't pay nearly that. Uh, thank you, Black Friday. So anyway, there you have it. That is the uh, Countertop Transformations Kit. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to doing this. I think that if there is one thing that can really sort of change the look of a kitchen or really update it. I think it's going to be changing the countertops. And since that's something that is not in our budget right now, this was definitely worth a shot because the countertops that we've got in there, they're done for already. So even if we ruin them with this, um, I still kind of think it's worth a shot because I think this really can't be much worse than what we're dealing with already. So um, I'm also looking forward to that. We're, we have uh, the countertop in our kitchen is uh, a light color and then the countertop on the bar top that's in our basement is like black so i'm looking forward to doing it on both surfaces to see kind of the difference between the two thank you guys so much for watching be sure if you want to see how this all pans out make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh we're going to be doing this very soon actually um for me, I'm actually going to be uh, prepping the kitchen today, and then I'll probably do it over this weekend. So you probably see it in the next week or so. So thank you guys so much for watching, and this has been our first home.